Back in the 1960s, so fashionable and versatile was the Mini that simply everyone wanted one, including the emergency services. And guess what Tim's got lined up? <laughs> that is comedy! Words that spring to mind, Fuzz. Oh, I mean, you just can't really take it seriously, can you? Could you imagine <laughs> being arrested by a copper who got out of no. this? Whoop. Right. This is my first time in the front of a police car. Spark up the Cooper! Oh, my God. <laughs> this is cool as hell, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes, get the horns off. Chase that Come criminal. On. Oh, yes, hunt him down, boss. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this thing flies, doesn't it? It does, yeah. The one thing about Mini, which always surprises me, is what they're like the TARDIS. Yeah, that's right. We, we look ridiculously tiny in this <laughs> thing, but it doesn't matter, because actually, it feels like there's quite a lot of space. What's it like to drive? It's just making me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, is it allowed for embarrassment or pleasure? Pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely your pleasure. Yeah. This is great. What a wicked little car. They are actually the epitome of cool, really, aren't they? Yeah. It handles like a little roller skate. I mean, it's just it's brilliant. There is loads of room. You're six foot six. Yeah. I'm six foot one. Yeah. And you're cramped. No, I'm absolutely fine. And we can stick another couple of people in the back there. It's a test of great British engineering, isn't it, really? I mean. I love the sliding windows. Yeah. It's all good it's noise. Fine. Put the horn on again. No way. You just look like some sort of stripper grab. <laughs> I don't want to see it. I didn't know this guy. It's your birthday. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's one of the greatest British cars of all time. The very first Austin Mini hit our roads in 1959. Though it wasn't until two years later when Formula One guru John Cooper souped it up that the Mini Cooper legend was born. It was an instant success on both the race tracks and rally circuits, with motoring legend Paddy Hopkirk famously winning the gruelling Monte Carlo rally time after time in his equally legendary red number 37 race car. Stonk oh, yes. It. Let's move out of the way. Let's get him on. Oi, 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 oi. Hang on a minute. What? It's a runner. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yes, with a working engine and seats installed, why, it's impossible to resist that all-important test drive, even if half the car is still in the spray booth. Sounds like it wants to go somewhere, doesn't it? Get out of the way! We're going on a test ride. Why, isn't it? <laughs> That's the thing about these little minis. Whenever you're a big guy and you drive one of these, you hit the horn with your knee. Oh, it's... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It's just like a go kite. Oh, the brakes work then, and the accelerator. Oh, that's wicked. Hey! You know when you see them in the Italian job, right, and they're flying around the place, it looks like they've been sped up, but it's not. They're tiny little yeah, go karts Look at the turning circle. It's amazing, isn't it? 